Good morning, and uh, welcome to day two of uh, <clears throat> National Biochar Week. My name is Tom Miles. I'm uh, executive director of the uh, uh, U.S. Biochar Initiative, and it's our pleasure to uh, to present this week of uh, discussion regarding uh, biochar. We appreciate our our many sponsors uh, and participants who have volunteered to uh, help us out this week. Since we didn't, uh, we were not able to uh, have a conference this year and get together. Uh, this is our way of uh, networking and spreading the word. So today, Tuesday, uh, we're going to concentrate on uh, biochar market strategy uh, in the morning, uh, in the first uh, hour or so. And then the second half of the program, we'll talk about technology. We'll start out, I'll begin by asking some questions about uh, biochar markets, raising some of the issues that we've, we've uh, been considering. Uh, then we'll have two presentations uh, on markets, one by Harry Groot of Dovetail Associates and Ron Alexander. Uh, both of them we've worked with on uh, biochar marketing, trying to come up with a marketing strategy. We'll have a couple of uh, short talks uh, by technology provider, providers, and then we'll have a panel on gasification, looking at small scale, uh, medium modular scale, uh, and an industrial scale uh, gasifiers. Uh, we'll have a Q&A on uh, technology, and then we'll look at uh, uh, some additional videos and post-processing uh, experience with technology selection and a concept for developing uh, opportunity zones. So biochar markets are, have been something of a challenge for the last uh, 10 years. Uh, we, we continually get new market uh, interest and uh, there are new biochar producers constantly and those come from all sources. We have organic farmers, uh, animal feed interest, urban recyclers, fertilizer companies, farms, cities, wood processors, a wide variety of people. And the, the first question they always ask is, okay, where's the market? So a question I would ask and a question I asked uh, some years ago was, okay, what do we know about biochar markets? Who needs biochar? As I indicated yesterday, we have the potential of converting a billion tons of biomass to uh, fuels, chemicals, and biochar. We could make 250 million tons of biochar a year. Wh who will consume the 250 million tons? What do we know about market performance, uh, products? What products to make for what markets? If we, if we identify, agriculture, biomass, organics, forestry, stormwater, remediation, ecosystem services, the built environment. These as our principal markets. What do we know about what products to offer, how to promote to them, distribution channels? What's the pricing? Is it a penny a pound or a dollar a pound? And what's the competition? What are people using now? And I think what we've learned in the last few years is that a number of producers, more than 100 producers who are producing biochars are beginning to find answers for those. But we still have questions about what do we need for short-term market development? What are the opportunities? What are the needs? What actions should we take for short-term markets? What about the long-term markets? Where do we go there? And so if we take, for example, one of the market segments, let's take agriculture. Agriculture can be both a source and a market for biochar. Uh, there are a number of uses within agriculture. Uh, there are a number of products that can be made. There are a number of technologies. There are different packaging uh, that we can have. If you ask somebody in agriculture about uh, why use biochar, you say, well, biochar, you wanna improve so soil organic carbon. Why, why do they need biochar to improve soil organic carbon? Does it solve problems or threats to health? Is it a nutrient basket? Is it a biogeo battery that helps everything function in the soil? Uh, is it a nutrient uh, uh, or a carbon sink where you can uh, maybe derive income from selling carbon? And if we line these up when we say, okay, what are the, uh, what are the strategies we, we should pursue? Uh, what are the most immediate markets? Um, what are the needs to build that market? And what actions should we pursue? You get different answers for different markets. And in order to explore those uh, markets, we went and we just, you could do the same thing for all the different markets. You can look at the markets and say, well, these are the ways we ought to pursue stormwater. This is the way we ought to pursue ecosystem services. Maybe we put it in the ground for another three or 4,000 years like the Terra Preta uh, in the right-hand slide. What about the built environment? We looked at, uh, uh, looked at the use in green roofs and in building products. Uh, how do we start there? 
And how can public policy uh, create biochar demand through procurement, through policy, through grants, through loan guarantees, through research? Are these pathways that we ought to be spending our energy on? If we look at local, city, county, state, and federal agencies, and we go down the list of agriculture, forestry, transportation, those kinds of agencies and organizations, where do we, where do, where do we put our focus to try to build a market? And can regional organizations help build markets through education, branding, collaborative research and demonstration, information exchange, policy support, education, lobbying? Are there business models for organizations that are particularly effective in building these kinds of things? Uh, markets for biochar that cross a lot of different disciplines. What's the role of existing organizations like the U.S. Biochar Initiative or regional associations like the Great Lakes Biochar Initiative or Eastern Biochar who helped organize this week? What about the International Biochar Initiative and our, our alliances um, uh, internationally that we gain so much knowledge from? What about agriculture, forestry, environmental organizations, private foundations, or even trade associations? And what are our supporters think of what have they learned about markets? So what we did was we went out and asked them. We went to our sponsors for the uh, Biochar and Bioenergy 2019. We looked at the sponsors for Biochar 2018. We looked at the sponsors for Biochar 2016. And we said, uh, we, we surveyed them a couple of years ago and uh, uh, did a little bit more in depth uh, research and development uh, this year. And so now I'd like to introduce the people who uh, worked on those projects. Um, two of them, Harry Groot and, uh, uh, and Ron Alexander. And so let's start with Harry's video. <laughs> 